Hey, how's it going, everyone? Bass here. So with the Green Bay Packers being extremely thin in the cornerback room right now, Kevin King injuring his shoulder last game, and what Matt LaFleur said is basically he was playing on one arm. The Packers needed to add even more depth to the cornerback room, and they went out and signed cornerback Quinton Dunbar to the practice squad. And this is even after the Packers signed cornerback Rizul Douglas last week. They are very, very thin at that outside cornerback position, so very clear that they need more depth there. So although Dunbar is signed to the Green Bay Packers practice squad, they can elevate him up to three times for game day until they have to then sign him to the 53-man roster. So a little bit about Dunbar here. He came into the league in 2015, played with Washington all the way up to the 2019 season. Then he spent time in Seattle after being traded there um, last year, played six games, and his season was halted when he had to get knee surgery. And if you recall, last year, he and former Giants cornerback DeAndre Breaker were accused of armed robbery in 2020, um, but then he was later not charged due to lack of evidence and all the charges were dropped. Then Dunbar spent time with both the Lions and the Cardinals to start this year. Dunbar is a 6'2 cornerback that came into the league undrafted, uh, originally as a wide receiver out of the University of Florida. Then he changed to cornerback to play with Washington, and we know how the Green Bay Packers love their former wide receiver turned cornerbacks. And overall, he's had a pretty solid career here at cornerback. So if we bring up Dunbar's PFF grades and stats, we see here that the thing that sticks out the most here is his 2019 season where he had an 87.6 grade, um, 72.5 run defense grade, an 83.7 tackle grade, and a very high 89.5 coverage grade. He played 613 total snaps. Now in 2020, his grade did drop down to that 47.7, but in 2019, he accounted for 36 total tackles, 16 stops. Um, he was targeted 52 times. Um, only allowed 29 receptions for 344 yards, had four interceptions and four pass breakups, and only allowed a uh, quarterback rating of 56.9. So for Dunbar, 2019 was easily his best season. He was actually the fifth highest graded cornerback for overall grade via PFF there in 2019, and he was third in coverage grade. And that being only two years ago, and he's only 29 years old, so I really do like this signing for the Packers. Dunbar is an outside-only cornerback. He's not a slot cornerback, so the Packers are primarily signing him here to play outside if he does end up playing for the Packers. And this could prove to be a very, very solid sign for the Green Bay Packers with how banged up their cornerback room is. I can't say it enough. Um, I like this a lot better than the Rizul uh, Douglas signing. I think Dunbar is a better cornerback than Rizul Douglas, and this could prove to be just a very good signing in general. And I've always seen Quinton Dunbar as being a very underrated cornerback in the league. Um, throughout his years, he's actually played very solid. And of course, you saw in that 2019 season, no one ever really talked about him, although he was a you know top five graded cornerback, top three in coverage grade, played very, very solid that year, and then was traded to Seattle the year after for, I believe, a fifth round. But always has been kind of that underrated corner no one really talked about. Talks about. So if he can, you know, come back into the uh, league under the Green Bay Packers and kind of play like he used to be, this could be, like I said, a very good signing. The Packers definitely need this depth. They definitely need guys who can play outside corner because if Kevin King can't go, I would definitely expect Quentin Dunbar to be elevated in this game against the Bears. Um, with Eric Stokes and Rizal Douglas and um, Isaac Yadam being their only other outside corner options. But that about does it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this signing. Do you like it or do you dislike it? Um, and on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. As always, go Petco.